Hello there everyone, this is Derek and today I'm going to show you how to mine like a pro on Castro Valva. Now the first thing you want to do is warp to spawn, or spawn at spawn, depending on what you were doing beforehand. Then you're going to come on down here, down the stairs of destiny, and walk over to this here sign, which will randomly teleport you to a coordinate. Somewhere. Who knows where. Let's see. Stand by. And here I am. Jesus. I am in the middle of nowhere. But that doesn't matter because all I'm going to do is go straight down. Straight down on the ground. And then be very courteous and cover your hole. You don't want anyone to fall into oblivion. Now, the two major, major things you need are night visions and fire resistances. So, chug one of these. Chug one of these, and then uh, dig all the way down to oops, dig all the way down to uh, twelve. And it doesn't matter if you fall in lava, because nothing's gonna happen, because I can swim in lava. And if I fall on anything, oh shit! Look at this. This is a glitch that's happening right now on the server. Caught on video. <laughs> so just proceed downward. 20, 15, 12. You can see it right there. Y equals 12. And then you just want to dig straight for a little bit. And use your super breaker. Which is a nifty little thing that you can use on this server. Makes it so you break everything loads quicker. Not really finding anything nice. All these are fake, because there's a glitch going on. All those emeralds that you might be seeing. Alright, oh, see, I found a redstone there. Nice. At least I have a redstone. A couple of them. See, I'm not really here for redstone. Oop, my mining level. 1,000. 1,057. Jesus. So, here's another thing. What you want to do is, uh... You want to grab a silk touch pick because the higher your mining level is on the server, there's a chance that you will drop more than one ore per uh, ore that you mine. See, I'm going to smack this one here and two came out. And that's because I have such high mining level. And now, if I were to do that with diamonds in silk touch, I would get two diamond ore blocks instead of one. And then I can break those later with my fortune pick and get even more diamonds that way. So, uh, that's pretty much the best way to, uh, get the most diamonds possible. Because you know you want the most diamonds possible. Diamonds are very, very important. Doesn't look like we're finding any, though. Found some schmiron. And some credstone. Well, I guess I will call this video here. Goodbye, and thank you very much for watching.